two, if I'm not mistaken. That's on the, on the, in high school. That's six seasons for most schools. Strap them on, let's buckle them up, and let's play some football. Kevin Fishback, Jeff Proschke, Greg Ulo on film. Our spotter is always Raymond, uh, Roland Proschke, and Rodney Mahawkey is going to do all the stats again tonight for us. And Jeff, it's time to do it. I got goosebumps. I got in my stomach and everything. I'm ready to roll. Okay, you're going to kick it away with number 40, Ernesto Barrera. Jamie Jackson, the man in the middle, back deep for the horns. Mark and uh, Derek Jackson standing at about the 15-yard line. And it's a straightaway kick. It's going to be Jackson fumbles it at the 6. Straight up the field to the 15, in trouble the 20. And lunges forward right there. Not a bad way to start. First and 10 at the 20. At your own 20, good coverage by the goal away team down there. Wasn't a lot of avenues for Jamie to run there. Uh, good coverage, so hopefully we can get a good drive start on the first drive. You will be able to hear the uh, loudspeaker system. Here at Memorial Stadium, they have a uh, very nice loudspeaker system, and they're very proud of it because they've got it turned up all the way. Seems like it's facing us instead of facing the crowd. I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from, but sure is loud. This is some big, a uh, lot of people here tonight, and it's early. We've just begun. D the defense jumps off sides. Hand off to Derek Jackson, a gain of two, but it doesn't matter because if they were not drawn across, we've got a free five yards. Looks like to be that way. Looks like the left tackle. Don't know his number or anything. A good enough cadence by a sergeant to make him jump. Well, Steven is no stranger to, to giving the hard count. That's exactly what he did right there. Offsides defense. First and ten horns. We have just begun the Class 2A state championship game. Steven Sarden, the quarterback, the All-Stater. Bradley uh, right to the left, Jackson to the right. Defense shifts, pitch it outside, Bradley right. He has a first down at the 31-yard line. Did a good job to slow down. It looked like they almost had him in the backfield. A good rushed by the you know the defensive end looked like he said hey look i know what happened last time we played him we're not gonna let him beat us outside enough presence of mind to cut up enough and get a good six yard gain and and, and take what they give you one thing i've seen golf with on the first two plays jeff they're trying to anticipate the count they're trying to to make some adjustments right before the count to confuse the short horns well i think they 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 might you know give into the fact that we possibly are a little quicker they're gonna have to get every uh jump they can to uh, you know get a effort in this game here First and uh, 10 at the 31, that was a gain of six for Bradley Wright. Sarton drops back, rolling, look out, throws it wide open and it's incomplete. We're a little behind him. Mark was leveled by number 44, Cheyenne Horton. And Mark took a lick. Expect some hitting. You know that's going to happen in this game. They're going to be pumped up for Schulenberg. If you can't get pumped up for Schulenberg, you can't get pumped up. You can't get pumped up for a state championship game. You know. Either side of the ball. Ball at the 31. It's second down and 10. The clock has stopped. 10.55 to go. First quarter. No score. We have just begun. But the good thing, he was open, Kevin. Sarton with a draw. Derek He's Jackson, at the 40, count side 45, 50, down to the 48 yard line. Beautiful run, a good way. You know they're gonna have to respect our pass. We, we you know, open that, that play set up, the set up that draw right there. They're gonna have to respect that pass. That play might be a big, a big gainer for us and a big, uh, you know, opening for the, for the game. We might have to use that more often. 21 yards on the play for Derek Jackson. And Jeff, we talked about it. When we had the lineups, I circled a number and said, this man is going to have a huge game today. Who was it? We, Derek Jackson, we need him to have a huge game. There's no doubt about that. We need him to uh, exploit that defense and let them have to worry about the run so we can have that pass be successful. The ball is at the 48-yard line in Goldthwaite territory. Starting to pass. Throws it out to Mark. Oh, I tell you what, that's a new little wrinkle right there. Look for that again. Look for that again because Jackson was open, so was so was Mark on that little little slide out there. Uh, that looked like a good play right what a, there. Yeah, what a, they they got Jackson to go outside and cut in, and he he brought both brought backers in the with him. Back, right. Both backers went with Jackson. Mark was wide open. If Sarton doesn't lead him that much, Mark's down the line for a touchdown. 
po quite possibly so. You know, a little. I'm sure there's a little pregame jitters here in the little first quarter to get this thing under the belt. But uh, what's good about this, even if we don't score, Kevin, we need to get the ball on their side of the field, make them drive long. Defense moving. Pitch it out, Derek Jackson. He's got us a hole. Derek Jackson at the 45 cuts it up as he puts his head down to the 43. Gain of five. I'll see the go away coach saying, you got to wrap him up. Wrap those arms around him. A good, uh, a good play by Derek to get what he could there. A good tackle. He hit the defensive back and made him feel it. So uh, Adam, a good game. Adam Young, the nose guard, is jumping and moving and shifting over on every snap. Before every snap, this young man is in motion but, making the moves. But the good thing about that is he can't be set, and he might be on his backswing when we snap the ball, so he might not get the quite the good rush he wants. Exactly. Big play here, third and five. Ball at the 43. Jackson and Adams here to our left. Look, there's Adams across the oh, and, and he dropped the football. He had a first down on big yardage. Well, we know we can throw the football on him so far. He may have heard the, the steps or I something. I think the safety was back there and he saw that out of the corner of the eye. A pretty, a, a fair drive for your first drive. You know, we moved the ball. We showed, hey, this is what we're gonna be able to do. Kind of reminiscent of last game, last week, you know, well, we scored last week on the first drive, didn't we? Yes. Oh, no, we didn't. Did we, did we on the first drive? I can't remember if we did on the first drive last week. I'm not too sure, but. Uh, no, nope, scoring the last play of the first it was quarter. On the last play of the first quarter. So we moved the ball successfully the first time la last. Shalik fumbles the snap. And he's going to be knocked back down. Huge break for Goldthwaite. It was a low snap, skip to the turf. Shalik couldn't pick it up. We can't afford to make these kind of mistakes. We have to play Schulenberg football. And Play like we've been playing every week. We can't uh, give them the good field position like that. Just I talked about, we could have got them deep down there. We made a mistake here. Our defense has to step up like they have all year. First down and 10 for Goldthwaite. Thought we were going to pin them deep with a punt, and it just didn't work out that way. Cockrum, the quarterback. Pitch it outside. String it out. Oh, nothing, nothing there. Nothing. Black attack. Excellent pursuit. Excellent pursuit. Sir Brown. Paco Valens away. Look, Kurt Bezetsny. Boy, that line came off quick, too. Real quick off the ball, line of scrimmage. Uh, I don't know if that was a, they saw something in that play that they knew what was going to happen. But looked like everybody was there where they needed to be. It's a loss of two, second and 12. Goldthwaite. At the Horn 40. Don't worry about penetrations in this one. It's a co-championship if it's a tie. Run the option, pitch it. A lot of room. A whole lot of room out there. And the man gets his block, cuts it up, and he's just caught from behind by Paco Valenzuela. That was Heath Knuckles. He was in the backfield of the, of the team we played against the state. So, you know, three year starter in the backfield on a class a team this classy. It's going to be dangerous. The ball is just shy of the 25, first and 10. Well, the first play, they go right side. They get nothing, then they go to the left, and they pick up a huge gain. They were able to pinch our ends down and get outside. Double wing formation. Ball is, uh, the quarterback kept, kept the football. Quarterback Snake thought he fumbled it the way the defense reacted. But it's a... Uh, Five-yard gain. Was, that was indicative of what we were talking about, the quarterback. He's a hard runner. They hit him square about a yard gain, and he rolled off that and fell for four more. So uh, going to have to wrap him up and, and keep him in the middle. Second down and five from the Shorthorn 20. Eight minutes left. First quarter, no score. Horns had a good drive. They were forced to punt, but never got the punt off on a bad snap. Grofton took over. They'll run the option. Quarterback will keep it. Sam Brown, Steven Sarton wrapped him up, but not before Cockrum. He's going to be real close. So I think he's got a first down. They'll mark it at the 15, and he should have it from there. First it is down. a first down. First down is going to be a big play for us every time. Got to keep him. Got to keep him from getting a, a, a sizable gain, so we can have them to be a little more uh, chancy on their other plays. They have the ball at the 15-yard line, 7.35 to go in the first quarter. The Goldthwaite Eagles. Double wing, single setback. They give it to him. Nothing there but black attack. 
Sam Brown, Paco Valenzuela, and Brian Valenzuela. That's what we needed on first down. We needed a, a stop where they don't, minus yards, you know, minus one there again. Uh, we can't let them get five or six yards on the first carry. Then they, you know, they're, it opens up so much more what they can do on second and third down. A loss of a yard, second and 11 from the 16. Goldthwaite likes to keep the football on the ground. They feel if they can run the ball successfully at the beginning, they'll run it on you all night. You got to watch these tight ends and these backs slipping out of the backfield, possibly, though. Double tight end set. Reverse and around. Holding. There's a holding, no call. Cuts it back up. Nice move on Sarton. Touchdown, Goldthwaite. There was and no flags down. And end around, and Goldthwaite is on the board with 6.39 left. It is six to nothing, Gold Wade Eagles. So Cochran scores. Good snap. Breast kick. It's high. No good. No good. That may hurt you. Six thirty-nine left to go. First quarter. The Eagles have struck first. Goldthwaite six, Schulenberg nothing here on Channel 16. Football brought to you by Holas Duncan Insurance Agency, Hugo Holas at Schulenberg, Carl Duncan in Weimar, Watts Lavis Clinic of Pharmacy, Welburn Petroleum, Hill Bank and Trust Company of Weimar, Scheller Engineering, and Double B Foods. Six nothing, and Jeff, we thought we had some, uh, some holding going on there. Well, it's easy to see it up here. You never know. Uh, Referees could be blocked from views or whatever, or maybe he saw something we didn't, and it wasn't a hold possibly, but from this angle, it looked like a hold. Nonetheless, the Eagles had the lead. This is something that no other team, with the exception of Refuria, has done to Schulenberg in the playoffs. In the playoffs, yeah, in the playoffs. And that's a lead. Refuria had that 14-13 halftime lead. You know what happened there, 33-14 to was the final. Eagles lead six to nothing with 6.39 to go in the first. But the Horns have to feel comfortable the way they can move the football. Straightaway kick. Mark and Jackson, well, it's Mark at the 20 and caught from behind, dives forward. He had a wall set up. My time, Mark and Jackson uh, didn't really know who wanted the football. Well. Anyway, we're still starting in pretty decent field position at the 24. I mean, we can't afford to get pinned deep in our own area where we're limited on our plays, but, uh, well, you're never limited on our plays, I guess. Ask East Bernard, 95 yards. But uh, we need a good drive here. We need a real good drive. It is 6-0 Goldway with 6.33 left in the first. Sarton, the man under. Jackson to the right and Bradley Wright to the left or your setbacks. Fumble, Sarton dove on it, saved it. He looked like he pulled away from uh, Bozel just a little too soon. Well, that could have been disastrous right there. Man, you know, you, you give them less than 65 yards to drive, and they scored from the, when they drove it from the 40. You know, after the uh, punt that was didn't take place because it was a bad snap. We've got to play good ball. We can't give them the opportunities. Second down and 10. Defense jumps. They get back. Starting to throw. Jackson caught. Get away from that man. There he goes. 35, 40. Nice shake. 45, 50, 45, 40. And caught That's from behind. That's what we need. That's, what we That's need. why he's an All-State junior right there. He's done it all year long. Nine yards and a first down for Jamie Jackson and the Schulenberg Shorthorns. Jeff, you cannot play that soft on him and expect to come and, up and make the tackle. And single coverage, yeah, we might add at that. Uh, they must have a lot of, uh, you know, confidence in their defensive backs. We'll go to that combination all day. All night long. They're still believing in single coverage here. Jamie Jackson is now the uh, all-time leader in 2A. There's to right. Gets knocked down as he goes to the 34. Nice gain for Bradley. We can't afford to stop ourselves. That's the key to the game. Uh, they're going to, 
you know, they're, they're a chancy defense. They're going to give up the big play. We can't afford to stop ourselves like we did on the other play here. You know, a drop pass here, a bad snap here. We got to play just a clean game to come out with this win. There's no doubt about it. Second down and eight. We're going to call it seven. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's past the 35, so. Second and seven. Sarton with a draw to Derek. Derek looking outside, gets to the 30 yard line. Looked like a lot more, more room there and it just shut down at the last minute. Derek with a gain of five. Another big play. It's going to be third down and three for the Horns. 420 to go in the first quarter. Goldthwait on top, six to nothing. Ball just outside of the 30, so it is three yards. Well, the good thing about this is with our versatility in the game, they don't know whether we're going to run or pass. They got a lot of men coming up to the line. They jump. We don't get the snap. Sarton wants to pass. He could run. Throws it out. That should be pass interference. Mark oh. missed it. He got tangled up with a defensive back. Last week, that was a, a penalty against us. This week, maybe if he would have went down, you know. And Mark still almost caught the football. Still almost got to it. I think we go for it here. You don't, I mean, you're not going to punt it. Shepard was hitting some from 48 yards, but this would be uh, against the win. 47, but. Uh, against the win. I'd like to see us. You got to go. Uh, We're going to call a timeout. 3.56 left, first quarter, decision time for Coach David Hoosman. Horns trail 6-0 here on Channel 16. The decision has been made. The Horns are going to go. I like that call. You bet. Fourth down and three from the 30. 3.56 left to go in the first. The Horns trail 6-0. Mazetsny to our side. Jamie Jackson the far right. Sarton wants to pass. Jamie across the middle, no. incomplete, it went behind him. Again, Jackson's open, and the pass is behind him. Just a little bit off on, on, his, on his timing right now. You know, we're, we're moving the ball. I'm still saying we're moving the ball. You know, things are gonna start clicking. And just not getting it in the zone. At the right time. Well, now at least you give uh, Goldthwait a little further to have to drive. Instead of 40 yards, they're 70 yards away exactly. from the end zone now. First down and 10, Goldthwait, 349 left to go in the first. They have the ball on their own 30. You know, Jackson still almost came up with that. It would have been acrobatic. Single setback, option. They'll pitch it out, not much Nothing. there, but the block That's attack. Better. Steven Sarton, Sam Brown, Paco, Chad Gennert, Ricky Hernandez. You know, it seems to me, Kevin, it's either a big play or no play for, for Goldway. It's either a big play or nothing. The touchdown was a reverse, a trick play. I mean, you know, it's, it's feast or famine, it seems to me. They're a big play team. I don't know if they're going to be able to establish a solid. Well, they gave them a good spot, didn't they? And lost a two. Should look like more to me. They run the end. No, quarterback keeps it. Man, it throws out. He is wide open. And it is caught. And brought down from behind at the 21-yard line. They do a little trickery and throw it out to J.T. Aldrich. It goes from the 28 to the 21. 51 yards. Everything's going their way right now. We've got to do something to break this trend. 51 yards on the play. They snuck Aldridge to tight end out. You talked about that. And he was wide open. A lot of play action there. Looked like the possibly the reverse again. And, uh, you know, a good job by the coaching staff. You can say that. They're keeping us way off balance right now. Shorthorns look stunned. Single setback. Quarterback sneak straight up the middle. Still on his feet. Chad Gennard. Steven Sarton bring him down. Getting four to five yards on a quarterback sneak is, is, is we've got to stop that. I mean, that's, you know, we're looking at second and five again. Too many yards. He's a big quarterback. We've got to take care of his business. Second down and four. 
for Goldweight. They lead six to nothing with 2.15 left in the first. Hit right there, Ricky Hernandez with a pop. Better. Now it's third down. Well, you saw the extra point was no good, and it was a very weak effort. Oh, but it, he kicks the ball pretty good on his kickoffs. He was down at the 10 or 5 on those. So we know the young man's got a decent leg. He just maybe just got under that ball a little too much. Yeah. There. So you, uh, that's just looking hit. They may think they're in four-down territory here. Third and, and more than five to go. about third down first here. Here's that Stopping pass. back to pass. Man is caught for the first down. Bozo ran him out of bounds. Complete. complete to Cheyenne Horton. And he has a first down. First and goal at the nine. But that play was good for a first down by the scrimmage just inside the nine. First and goal. First and goal for Goldthwait at the nine. Shorthorn's black attack defense has come up with some memorable stops this year. Some memorable series. Got to have one right here, gang. Don't want to go two scores down. Two touchdowns down. First man through, Knuckles. Number 42, Barrera. Is that 42? All right. That's Barrera. He got where his knee went down first. So That's a good spot. Schulenberg calls another timeout. Timeout horns, the second one they burned. 119 left, first quarter, drive, go, uh, Goldway knocking on the door. They lead 6-0 here on Channel 16. Coach Brad Houghton still visiting with his defense here with a minute and 19 seconds left in the first. Goldthwaite knocking on the door. They've got a second down and seven from the seven. Well, on those on those tight end, you know, patterns and so on, it seems to me you'd have somebody that uh, it watches him a, and, and takes his keys off him. If he... You know, blocks down, okay, great. Then you go in for the run support. But if he doesn't, watch him. You know, watch him in the back. Second and goal for the Eagles at the 7. They lead 6 0. They had a big 53 yard bomb to get them down to this point. <laughs> Quarterback, run the option, picks it up, takes it up, touchdown. There, the offensive line is controlling the defensive line, and that time, the young man Cockrum just walked right up to the middle, untouched for six. And it's 12 to nothing. Let's see, they go for two, I think they will. They lead 12 to nothing. They've been pretty successful in what they've been doing. This doesn't surprise me one bit. Quarterback wants to throw in trouble. Everybody's covered up. Knocked away. Oh, Chad Gennett almost intercepted it. Well, they knocked it away. No good. Hey, 115 left to go. First quarter. Your score, Goldthwait 12, Schulenberg nothing on Channel 16. Short horn football here on Channel 16. Kevin Fishbeck and Jeff Proschke. Greg Gulo on camera as always. Rodney Mahawkey doing the stats today. And Roland Prosky, our number one spot man. Jeff, the uh, sideline over here looks a little glim. We haven't seen this look in a long time. We need the crowd to get into this game and help us out. They're trying to get it going. Barrera will kick it away. Eagles up 12 to nothing. Kick is going to be taken by Jamie Jackson at the 13. Jamie up the middle, goes the outside, 25. 30, got a wall of 35. Still on his feet. That's what we need right there, Short Good Horn. Return. A big return. Get your offense rolling. Nice return by Jamie Jackson, the All-Stater. Our young men just need to take it upon themselves and say, hey, this is enough. We need to start playing our game, our brand of football, get, instead of looking, you know, all those pregame stats and everything said, hey, 
we should win this game easily. No, these no. guys don't believe in that. 43 yard line, third possession of the day for the Horns. There goes that linebacker again, quick out to Jackson. That is a lateral and it goes out of bounds and that's where the Horns will get the football. That is a lateral because it was thrown behind him. Nothing is going our way as we speak. We needed something big here to happen. And the Goldweight players continue with it. That is number 64, Cody Odom, the defensive lineman who is running around all over the place. That is a loss of 17. And it goes, it's not a pass. I don't think it goes down as a pass. It's a lateral. It's a lateral. Would that be a fumble? I would look at it that way. I don't know how you, it doesn't matter how we're gonna stat it. The, the point is, it's way back. Second and 27 of the horns. We're going to the gun. Inside to David Reigns. Big hole, and well, he got caught up. And the hole just shut down to the 34. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Goldthwait 12. Schulenberg nothing. Third down and 19 now. Third down and long. Sarton rolling the pass. Looking out. There's Mark. Mark has it. Yes. What a play, Kevin Mark. Beautiful Mark. play. Mark was wide open. He gets nailed, but he's got he the first down. He hangs on. That's the main thing. It goes from the 34 down to the 33. 33 yards. Jeff, you could see that one coming. A good job by the line to hold the, the line long enough to go away to not get the start. And another good job by that back to cut down that defensive end. That is a huge play. That goes incomplete. You punt it again. You give them the ball right back. They could turn the lights out on you. Or come close to it. Sire with a fake handoff. Well, he wanted to run it. And he gets sacked. I think that's the case there where you have a stunt that's called and it just happens to be at the right place. Yep. That's exactly what happened. And that's the end of the first quarter. Goldthwait 12 and Schulenberg nothing here at the end of one on channel 16. Well, the first 12 minutes is history. It was Goldthwait's quarter. That's why you play four quarters. The Horns can just win the next three quarters. It'll be all right. It is 12 to nothing Goldthwait. You don't panic by any means oh, no, no. at this stage. And Coach David Hoosman has never been one to panic. You may see him go a little deeper in his bag of tricks, though. Well, when he is, shotgun, three rod receivers. Sarton fakes it. Oh, Adams is wide open. He's wide open. Cut. He's yes! going to score. He's Touchdown! wide open. Touchdown. Yes! Horns. Jeff. He carried it out with a fake to, to uh, Jamie Jackson on the screen. Exactly. And he caught right across, and it's six. We're right back in this, just like that. That's why I said Coach Hoosman won't go, he may go into his bag of tricks. That's not a trick play. It's just a different thing that he's concocted we in his mind. We haven't seen him. He fakes it. To, everyone thinks, okay, here's Jackson on the screen. Uh-oh, what's 82 doing out here? Steve